Yo, what up guys? Welcome to I always welcome you guys like you guys already know where you at. You know what I'm saying? What up guys today? We are living life about to head out right now. It's 11 o'clock a.m. 11 o'clock a.m. Huh? 11 a.m. Um, and Some shoes were supposed to come out this weekend, but then they came out next weekend But then some stores got them this weekend. I don't know, but I'm going to cop the wheat uh, flex, flex, flux, Air Force Ones. Uh, I'm never an Air Force One guy, but I really like the wheat colorway, so I really want to cop these. And I love the high top Air Forces, so I'm gonna go with this. I used to have hella when I was in high school. I was like a high, a Air Force One fiend, but it's Saturday. I already did. Shout out to Phil. He got me the CP3s. Literally cop two pairs of shoes this weekend. Um, well, I don't even know if I'm gonna get these Air Force Ones yet. Hopefully they have my size, but I copped the CP3s already. Shout out to Phil. He got them online for me. I tried to get them online too, but it took 40 minutes and then he told me he got them, so I just I ended it. And uh, what else do we have planned for the day? Honestly, nothing. So let's go ahead and go to Undefeated. All right, so we're kind of lucky because literally I didn't even know this, but the store is 30 minutes from where I live, so. What am I saying? The store is six minutes from where I live. So I got here really quick, found parking, street parking, and now we are here. So let's go see if we can get them. Got them. And something extra. I'll show you inside. All right, guys, so I'm back home. And I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. So I went to Undefeated, they had the shoes. They also had the CP313s, but as you guys know, I didn't need to cop it because Phil copped it for me. But I should have low-key copped it so that I could do a review on them for you guys and then sell them maybe I don't know that would be dumb but I don't want to go through all that but yeah uh, for review on the CP3 13s coming in like two weeks when I go back to the bay and I gotta I'm gonna see Phil and give him a big kiss but anyway um wheat air force ones flux flex what are they called I don't know I think they're called the flex um a lot of people think this is a hyped shoe People don't know why they're going crazy over this shoe. I mean, nobody's really going crazy, but I think it's a dope shoe. I've been wanting a pair of Air Force Ones. I haven't had a pair of Air Force Ones since high school. In high school, I had like a good 20 pairs of Air Force Ones. I had crazy ass ones. I had the Scarface ones that was white and black down the middle. I wore those on my 18th birthday. I'll show you guys a picture right now. It's Friday, Friday. Materials are dope on here. You guys can see that butter right there. You see that change of color? It's like a change of heart. And then I got lucky because they had these. This is the OVO Jordan hat. Uh, I didn't even know they were gonna have these, but I walked in and they had it. And uh, super dope OVO logo. Good quality. It's like a flex fit. OVO Jordan collection. Jump man, jump man. Um, cost 40 bucks though. It's kind of annoying. And it fits kind of weird. So I don't know. Honestly, if I, I don't know if I'll ever wear this because it fits weird, but it probably will. But those are my two pickups. Harris gets this inside joke right here. <laughs> um, if you guys, I know a ton of you guys are going to ask if I can go cop this and sell it for you guys. But no, if you're in the LA area, um, they do have these in stock, so go to Undefeated and they should have these. Um, I don't know if it'll be gone by then, but if you want OVO Jordan hat, they have these. And then they have these if you want to go cop. And yeah, I need to start editing, so I will see you guys later. You know we win in when you pull up to the meter and there's already money inside and you got 32 minutes without having to put a quarter in the, in the machine. Anyway, um, I finally got out of the house, got done with my editing for the day. Uh, thank God I didn't have to edit a Crew Kicks video. This past week was hectic, but I got some dope videos for Crew Kicks this week coming up. Uh, I'm about to go grab some Witch Witch because I'm feeling like eating a sandwich. And all these restaurants are hella close to my house and I didn't even know. Like there's a Chipotle right here. I'm gonna come back on the Chipotle today. And then there's Witch Witch and then there's just like hella stuff right here. So I'm blessed to be able to like just walk walking distance even though I drove today, but well, yeah, it's a video, it's not a selfie, you idiot. So here, you grab your paper, and then you choose your toppings. I'm going with Italian, they got all these options right here, but we're going with number seven. Alright guys, so, 
I got a question for you guys. First of all, I just munched down my food, so sorry I didn't even show it to you guys, but I was starving. Um, so we're approaching 300 vlogs. Our third, our 300th vlog is coming up. Our third, I, I suck at talking. Um, our 300th, we're coming in on our 300th vlog. <laughs> And uh, when we reach 200 vlogs, um, I asked you guys, should I stop putting numbers to the vlogs? You know how every vlog, the title has vlog 301, 302, 304. I'm considering, like I did last time, to cut that off and just put titles. Uh, let me know what you guys think. A lot of people said don't do it last time. Let me see what you guys say now. It's 100 vlogs later. So yeah, man, 300th vlog coming up. Maybe we'll do something special for that. What should I do special for the 300th vlog? You guys comment down below if I should keep the title, uh, the numbers, and also comment down below what I should do for the 300th vlog, all right? What's up, guys? So today is actually Sunday, so I'm combining Saturday and Sunday right now because I didn't have enough footage yesterday. Shut up, you stupid. So I've been looking for a tripod for my phone. Um, something that where I can set it up and film with the phone. Because I need to get one for Harris, actually. So when he wants to do shit for uh, crew kicks, he can set up, use his phone. Because it's he, we have the success. So I've been looking for tripods. And I went to Best Buy. And finally, I found one. And it's a selfie stick. But it, it has a tripod stand at the bottom. So I don't need a freaking selfie stick. I don't want a selfie stick. And... Um, but anyway, when I got home, I noticed that I can attach my GoPro to it too. So that was 10 times better. And then when I figured that out, after that, I figured out that I can actually attach this to it too. So, right now, we're super freaking wide-angled vlogging because we're vlogging with a selfie stick. Now, I don't like to call it a selfie stick, so we're going to call it the crew stick. And um, I'm not going to always use it like this, but it just seems cool. It feels like somebody's following me with a camera right now. And I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So should I vlog like this sometimes? I just feel weird, dude. And I mean, I could just like vlog like this. this I know this technology right now is like so old, but to me it's like new because I've never had one of these things. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Oh, the camera's loose. But the main reason I bought it is so that I can film a video with, uh, with my phone. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's the main reason I got it, but it's just dope that it works with my GoPro too, and I think it's gonna be actually be, actually be really handy with my GoPro, so I'm super excited about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the gate, the, <laughs> let's go ahead and get the day started. We're about to go get some breakfast, even though it's lunch, I'm gonna go get some Panera bread, and then we're gonna, um, see what happens after that, man. So I'm sorry about missing yesterday's vlog. My apologies, that's another sneaker giveaway. And everyone's asking for the sneaker giveaways. They're gonna happen during Thanksgiving week when I go back home, because that's where all the sneakers is. And it's kind of like Thanksgiving, so we're giving back, you feel me? So uh, it works out perfect. All right, guys, I'm talking 100 miles per hour right now, and I haven't even ate drink coffee, and I don't drink coffee. I've never had coffee in my life, fun fact. All right, my car's right here, time to go. Oh, dude, what the hell, it's recording. <laughs> I didn't even know it was still recording. See, I can even record like this now. I could be like in my car chilling and just put this right here. Oh no, that's too much. I just put this right here. Come on, I got it. Okay, I'm still working on it. As cheesy as a selfie stick is, it's very, very convenient at times like this. So instead of holding the camera while I'm driving, I could just drive and talk to you guys like this. So let's go ahead and go. Anyway, man, week two of LA, wrapping it up. We're about to go on week three. And I haven't told you guys this, but I'm starting a new journey this week. Um, actually, on Wednesdays when I plan to start it, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. But come Wednesday, um, come Wednesday, I'm I'm taking a risk. I'm not really taking a risk. I'm just fulfilling a a lifelong dream that I've always wanted to do, and I never had the opportunity. And now that I'm here in LA, I feel like this is the right time. And what a time to be alive. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, yeah, you guys will see what that is on Thursday because I'm going Wednesday. I don't think I'm going to snap it or anything, but yeah, man. And if for some reason I don't start it on Wednesday because of uh, I need to contact the people, um, I will for sure be starting it within the next week depending on when, when's the available day for me to start. So uh, guess I want you guys to comment down below and try to guess what it is. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, I gotta figure out where I'm going because I'm looking for a Panera Bread. I think I'm gonna go to the one by LAX because I'm gonna be going to the airport anyway to pick up a friend, so. So, I think I jinxed this freaking stick because it's already broken. I tried to pull it out and the top ripped off, so now if I go like this, 
it's done. All I have to do is shake it a little bit and it shakes. So I'm gonna return it and see? Crap out, man. I was actually on FaceTime with Harrison. I was like, dude, look at this. And I pulled it out and the top ripped off and now I gotta take it back to Best Buy and get another one, but thank thankfully I kept the receipt and the packaging and everything. And look, it's literally about to fall right now. I can just go like this and it's gonna fall, but uh, what do you uh, it's still so dope to me. <laughs> what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, man. Um, I just want to say for everybody. I always say this, man. But for everybody who's been waiting for main channel videos, they're coming. I did not abandon that channel. I've got so many ideas for it, and it's gonna start rolling. Once the ball starts rolling, it's done. It's going down the hill. It's not stopping. So uh, just wait on it. I think the first video we're gonna release on the main channel is gonna come Black Friday or a little before that. So Black Friday though is the official date of Sneakerheads Be, be Like Part Four. So I might release something before the week before that. But as far as uh, Sneakerheads Be Like Part Four that everyone's been asking about, it's coming out on Black Friday. So that is the 26th, I believe, or 27th. I don't know one of those days so uh just remember that of this month for the people that don't know what black friday is but anyway i'll talk to you guys in a little bit all right you ever walk past something at the store and you knock it off the rack but you just act like you didn't do anything you keep walking don't even look back yeah i just did that like three times anyway guys i'm at the grove right now again i live so close to this place it's like my freaking second home now anyway about to grab something to eat i stay eating here and uh just hang out man spend my fr sunday night here and um nothing too crazy this week this coming week's gonna be a grind push out man i'll tell you guys that man we're filming some videos we got some pranks coming i'm on the lookout for a new cameraman i found a few potentials i gotta get in contact with them they reached out to me so yeah man all right, so here's the deal. This freaking selfie stick vlog camera thing, oh, it's too risky. I'm gonna go to Best Buy without the packaging or anything and see if I can just replace it. And I'm gonna buy an extra one too because I need to get one to Harris for when he takes over this camera. Uh, the transaction's gonna happen. Let's see if we can get into Best Buy and uh, change it. Oh, door's open now. All right, so shouts out to Best Buy. They did replace the stick for me, so we back up on it. No worrying, we can tilt this way, we can tilt, we can go over here. Yeah, I'm such a loser. Anyway, um, we're gonna have a little heart to heart when I get into the car right now because uh, we need to definitely talk, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the car, ready? Okay, so basically, to keep it real with you guys, realistically, I can't daily vlog. <laughs> like, you guys know this, like, I can't do it. And the reason for my missed vlogs is because there's days when I'm just at home editing or not doing anything. And on top of that, when I do post a vlog and it's just me going out of my house, you guys complain saying it's boring now because I don't have the rest of my crew with me. I'm not doing anything exciting. And I apologize for that. Like I want to give you guys dope content. So at the moment, I'm going to cut the word daily out but I'm still gonna vlog. So there might be about five vlogs a week. There might be about four vlogs a week. There won't be less than four. There won't be less than four. I promise you that. I'm gonna try my best to daily vlog, but I'm gonna cut the word daily out of it just so you guys can't say all that. Oh, he doesn't daily vlog. He's not consistent, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm doing what's best for me because my main focus right now is crew kicks and the main channel. Those are my two fo main focuses right now because the main channel has been abandoned for a month. Uh, we've got so many ideas that I'm I'm trying to uh, make happen right now and I'm in the process of finding a cameraman So once that's all set when my goal is for the rest of the year once the once the ball gets rolling My goal for the rest of the year is to upload two videos a week on the main channel until the end of the year um, The vlog channel is just gonna be for when I do vlog and I have something to give to you guys So it's very hard to balance out three channels and it's very hard to give you guys consistent freaking uh vlogs like that and i don't want to disappoint you guys and have you guys waiting all day so if a vlog comes it's gonna come uh like i said i'm not gonna miss every day of the week i'm not gonna miss four days in a, in a week i'm not gonna miss like three days in a row i'm gonna try my best to give you as many as i can but some days i might not upload on crew tv um I'm still doing crew cakes five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I haven't missed a day of that because it's been such a big goal of mine to get that channel bigger. And the main channel, like I said, once it gets uh, once it gets started, it's not going to stop. Two videos a week is my goal. 
Uh, I haven't decided what days. I know Sunday is going to be one of the days, and then I'm thinking maybe Thursday or Wednesday. Let me know what you think the second day should be. Should it be like a Wednesday or Thursday? I mean, it's not going to be a Friday, that's for sure. Um, and it's not going to be Monday. So it's either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, other than that, man, uh, There's, that's it, man. That's that's just that, that's the dilemma right there. I'm still gonna do the sneaker giveaways. I have about seven sneakers I need to give away, and those will all be done when I get back home. Uh, when I get back home, I think in two weeks. So then I'll be doing all those sneaker giveaways. So don't think I'm not gonna give you guys the sneakers. And uh, yeah, that's that, man. So I uh, hope you guys do understand where I'm coming from, cause I do want to give the other two channels my main focus and this is just a vlog channel so yeah and I'm not saying I won't go back to daily vlogging but at the moment it's just gonna be vlogs not daily vlogs so that's that I'm gonna put the selfie stick away cuz I gotta get home all right I'll see you guys at home hey yo this was the song in junior high this was the song What's up guys, so I always gotta check that street sign. Make sure you can park here. Two hour parking. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Except Sunday. So basically, wait, they don't do street cleaning on this? So basically, I have to move my car by 10 a.m. tomorrow. 10 a.m. tomorrow, guys. One of the good things about the parking in my uh, apartment is that um, it's no guarantees. So sometimes I have to I, sometimes I have to park on the street, which makes me wake up at 8 a.m. depending on which side of the street I get. So that's good. So I've been productive as far as like waking up early and getting shit done. I go to sleep no later than 2 o'clock now. Which is insane because when I used to live back in the bay, I used to go to sleep at freaking 5 a.m. Wake up like at 12 p.m. So I'm happy that's changed. That's for sure. Man, it pisses me off when a lot of people don't appreciate where they come from or who helped them get there. Or they just overlook it because they think they're greater than something like that, man. And I just want to say I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have half the subs I have on crew TV if it wasn't for my my crew I'm talking about like the original crew some of the guys you guys don't even see in the vlogs anymore so I do want to appreciate it tell you guys that I do appreciate all of them and I never overlooked that and I know that they're they were a source of entertainment for you guys I know sometimes it's boring when I'm alone you guys always tell me that but uh, sometimes I go back and I watch the old vlogs and I'm like damn our crew is so dope we're so solid uh, it was straight entertainment. It was like a TV show for you guys. Basically, they, basically that's what vlogs are. It's like a reality TV show for you guys. And we had different people, and each person was like their own character. And it sucks, you know. Times change, but uh, I do want to say that I did appreciate. I do appreciate all of them. And without them, I wouldn't be able to have built a beautiful audience that we have today. So, when we do reach 100,000 subscribers on Crew TV, I'm dedicating that plaque to my crew and uh, I don't want to take any single credit for that because it was all it was all my team man it was all it was everybody that was down to be on camera with me and you know expose not exposed but put our lives online you know so yeah just wanted to say that let's just take a moment to appreciate my outfit today 350 pants from Topshop leather skinny fit I think Long T from, I think, I forgot where I got that from. Adidas zip hoodie with the 3M stripes. Another one. Oh. Finally took this thing out to give me some extra motivation for the main channel. I wish they gave you one of these every 100,000 you hit because if we hit 200,000, we would have got another one. But we got to wait till a million. Uh, and it will happen for the people that lost faith. It will happen. Uh, and anyway, crew cakes, hello? 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 You guys be going in. So a lot of people are telling me to disable the comments on the crew collection videos because people, all they do is, all they do is, um, 
they roast the person's appearance rather than appreciate the collection and a lot of people start talking about whether those are fake and real man look at the end of the day all i can say is if you don't like someone's collection show us yours anybody's welcome to send me their collection send me a picture of your collection at uh on my on my email which is uh the one that I made just for the crew collection is called crewcollection at gmail.com. Send me a picture of your collection. And if you want to talk smack about someone else's collection, you think they got fakes, you think they're ugly, you don't think they deserve to be on the channel, then send us your collection and let's see what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk about it, be about it. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing is that I'm posting what I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to wait for the right collections. I, every Monday is a new crew collection, so I'm going to post what I'm getting. So these are the people that I'm getting. I only have like two collections left right now. And then I'm waiting for more people to email me. So maybe no one else is gonna email me, but I'm just, I've contacted like at least 15 people to send me their collection. I'm just waiting on them, you know what I'm saying? So for all the people talking smack, making fun of everybody, be about it and send us your collection. It's not about who has the biggest collection. It's really not. It's not a competition. I'm not asking you to send me fire, fire, fire. Sure, I put Yeezys in the thumbnail because that's a hot shoe that would attract people to click on the video, which would potentially bring subscribers to the channel. It's great marketing. But um, we're not asking for you to have a million shoes. We're not asking you to have the most expensive shoes. We just want to see different people's collections from the crew from around the world and we want to hear the stories like you could have one shoe in your collection that one shoe it could be a freaking general release jordan that came out a less than a year ago but it's the story that comes with it that can make that video so good maybe you camped out 12 hours maybe some a friend gave it to you maybe you won it in some contest maybe you just it's just the first sneaker and it means the world to you that's what crew collections is about so if you have one sneaker if you have a hundred sneakers if you have a thousand sneakers if you have the most general release collection in the world if you have the most exclusive collection in the world crew kicks wants you that sounded like a freaking President's speech right now guys and I'm about to hear the greatest wrestling song in the history of oh, well, the best wrestling song right now Dolph Ziggler He needs to be the world champion if I had to choose another person to be world champion besides Seth Rollins that's a current non-injured active wrestler, Dolph Ziggler. He needs a push. WWE, he needs a push. Former world champion anyway, so. Alright guys, so this is where we're going to end the vlog. If you watch this whole thing, give yourself a thumbs up. Not physically, don't click the thumbs up. Like, give yourself a thumbs up because if I wasn't me... I would really, I honestly think I would hate myself if I wasn't me. Like, I'd be one of those people that comments negative shit about myself on the video. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys, hope, tomorrow. Uh, but if not, the day after that. Alright? There's a lot of dope vlogs coming out, I can tell you that. Because this weekend's going to be lit. Because we got a surprise guest coming. 100%. Well, 99% with this guy. But we'll see what happens. Alright? And Disneyland, Disneyland next week, it's lit. Right, bye. <laughs> that fell. That fell so bad. What are you guys trying to do? I'm trying to scare you, bro. You messed up my thumb. <laughs>